There was a 1980 film, Raise the Titanic, one of the most expensive films of that time. It was a huge flop. Critics said it would have been cheaper to lower the Atlantic. But today, here in Belfast, they've succeeded in raising the Titanic. Here in this extraordinary new building, Titanic Belfast. The reason to come to Belfast is because this is the birthplace of Titanic. This city is a fantastic European city, full of culture, full of music, and now, of course, Titanic Belfast, the world's largest Titanic visitor experience. The reason we call it an experience is because you use all of your senses. We don't just walk around and look at interpretive panels at Titanic Belfast. It's all about getting into the story. So you will smell melting steel, you will hear the noise of riveting, you will touch, you will interact with the story. And it's all about using modern technology to bring new young generations into the Titanic story in a way that allows you to find your own part of the story. To some people, Titanic means romance. To some, it means engineering. To some, it means tragedy, of course. But here at Titanic Belfast, everything about the story is explored, so you find your own part in the story. Belfast is a tiny city, and we built the world's largest man-made moving object. You can imagine those shipyard workers spent three years building that ship. People across the city in the linen mills produced all of the sheets, all of the napkins for the ship. People across the city carved wood for the ship. It's all about making sure the shipyard workers' stories aren't forgotten, the passenger stories aren't forgotten, and it's also a place of reflection. We're right here at the slipway, so you can go and you can stand on the very place where Titanic was built, and you can commemorate. You can also celebrate the ship. You can celebrate those people's stories. The people who went on Titanic were full of hopes and dreams. Our city is now full of hopes and dreams for our future and that is what Titanic Belfast encapsulates.